So the methods that they employ are those of deception. They know that the first and most crucial step in their plans for global conquest and the ultimate subjugation of the people is mind control. They know that they must first successfully win the battle against the mind. This mind control is happening right across the globe. It's happening right now. And the main tool they are using to achieve this end is television. It has been long known by many that there are a few very well positioned and very powerful families who sit at the top of the food chain. And that it is these private individuals who call all the shots and pull all the strings. These people control all governments via the stranglehold they have over the world monetary system. And more people are waking up to the reality of this all the time. These are the same people who finance Hitler's rise to power and who profit from both sides in all conflicts. The aim of World War II was to control all world resources and to either kill or subjugate the masses of humanity. World War II was a good try but they failed in their objectives and so now they have formulated a new strategy and they are trying again. These are the very same people and their plan has not changed. The plan is still to either kill, control or incarcerate every person on earth. The only thing that has changed is the method. The favoured method now is through the control of the food, which is being done right now by the global implementation of Codex Alimentarius. Through Codex, the elite have managed to either phase out or take control of all vitamin and nutrient companies. They have introduced deadly toxins into people's diets and purposely created nutrient deficient foods through the control and genetic manipulation of world seed stocks, and they have already reclassified many nutrients as toxins. They intend to reduce the world population by a minimum of 3 billion people by 2012. And it is happening right now and right before your eyes. They are doing it in the Middle East and in Africa with wars and starvation. And in Western countries with food toxins, water toxins and aerial spraying. The underground seed vaults that have been appearing around the world are not to protect the world's seeds from the passing of Planet X. They are to protect the genetically pure and wholesome seed stocks of the elite in order to provide them with clean, nutrient-rich food for years to come and to keep the supply out of the hands of the people who will be fed nutrient-devoid, genetically modified foods designed to kill them. But slowly, so the people don't notice it being done. There are an enormous amount of people who have been trying to warn you about this. But people are kept distracted by any and every means conceivable to distract them. Distracted by taxes, by sex, by crime, media propaganda, sport, body image, fashion, by meaningless celebrity gossip, by war, the threat of terrorism, by global warming by TV, TV, and more TV, and now by Planet X. However, in all the talk and rumours of Planet X there is a question that persists. If all the information that has been recently surfacing on Planet X is true, and is so important and is born from a genuine need and desire to help and inform humanity, then why are people selling their books and merchandise? and charging people to access their websites. What use will they have for money after 2012 anyway? Why do these people promote the idea that the governments are going to save certain people in order to create a Star Trek type society after the cataclysm? And why do they encourage people to ignore any and all conspiracies they see around them? Because all will amount to nothing in 2012 when Planet X passes by and the world changes. Though the crossing of the galactic ecliptic may well be an evolutionary event, it is an event that is unavoidable and one that should be embraced. But whatever is going to happen, in the interim, a clear and present threat to human life exists on this planet that is very real. It is right in front of your faces. It is a war of depopulation and control of resources that is being waged by the elite. 
It is being waged against you right now. And there are literally thousands of people trying to warn you about it. Forget squabbling over the finer points of conspiracy theories. Forget digging shelters in fear of Planet X. Forget arguing about whether there were planes or no planes on 9-11. We all know 9-11 was an inside job. Cat is out of the bag. It's no longer even open for debate. We all know that it's true. So worry about the finer details later. Instead, focus on the now and open your eyes to what's happening around you. Please. There are literally millions of us around the world. And if we could just set our differences aside for the moment and take the time to address the root cause of the problem, we still have the power to stop the New World Order in its tracks and to save humanity. But we need unity. We need to stand together as one united movement in order to effectively address the situation we are facing. While we have been distracted and arguing over the finer points of 9-11 and the realities or non-realities of Planet X, through the medium of television, the elite have already successfully brainwashed most of the world to the point where, if things are not taken in hand very soon, they might just pull it off. Standing as one unified voice is the only way we have any hope of succeeding in this fight. And it is also important to remember that many of those who live around you do not have access to the internet. Many of them have been taught to distrust it by the six corporations who own all Western media. And they have been taught to keep their children away from places such as YouTube. And away from people like us who are trying to get the message out to others. And rest assured that the mainstream media will never inform these people as to the real facts surrounding any of these issues, or even allow people to become aware that a matter may even be up for debate. The only information most people get is what they are told by their newspapers or by television newsreaders. So it's up to you. It's up to the internet people to inform them. It's up to all of us. Indeed, it is our duty to collect information, to burn DVDs and to get them out to people so they can learn the reality of our situation. Talk to people on the street. Do letterbox drops. Anything. But do something and do it now. But the most important thing of all is that we set aside our differences and stand as one unified movement in order to have any success at all. And we must do it now. No battle needs to be fought. Not a shot needs to be fired. All that is required is for people to wake up. All that is needed is global awareness. So talk to your neighbours. Turn off your television. And think for yourself. It's time to wake up. This is the most important and difficult battle humanity has ever been faced with. This time it is very truly the battle for our global survival. And it is a battle that we cannot allow to be lost or to be ignored. Now is the time to stop following and to start leading. The revolution is now. Here's what we can do to change the world right now to a better ride. Take all that money we spend on weapons and defense each year and instead spend it feeding, clothing, and educating the poor of the world, which it would many times over, not one human being excluded, and we can explore space together, both inner and outer, forever. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours because you're operating from a place of ignorance. And until you change that, you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other. You don't even recognize half the weapons that they use against you. And some of them seem so insignificant that you don't even try. You don't even try. That's why you're losing the war. And don't tell me you're not. You don't even try. Over the last 50 years, the population has been saturated with a huge intertwining web of meaningless conspiracy theories that could almost all be true, but almost never are. And if someone is to suddenly see the big picture of what is really going on, and seriously tries to alert people to the truth, 